nine and wound up making bogey. So understandable that she went a little deep there. Here's O'Toole to get within one. Could she? An UCLA Bruin herself like Allison Lee. You can barely see the golf ball here. But she's got such a vertical golf swing that she would be able to get down to the ball better than most. No. Oh, that was better than most. And Nelly from the rough onto the grease. Now Nelly has this to tie the lead at 12. So. Oh, she steals one from the rough, Morgan. Yeah, she has made. Allison Lee trying to bounce back from the bogey at 11. That was a seven iron. It's also on a good line, if it's enough. Yeah, that was a really clean looking swing. Not a lot of excess moving parts. Well done. Yeah, a really good opportunity from below the hole. Not a terrible amount of break. Easy pars, stress-free pars aren't gonna hurt you. Some stress for GA. Plays some 20 yards up the hill from where she's standing to this green. Yeah, there's a little backstop there. Should hold the golf ball in on the green. Oh, yes. Nelly's going to have that for Eagle to add to her lead. Playing this, playing for a good bit of left to right break. Almost going to come in the side of the hole here. Uh huh. Nelly leading by three tied for second at the moment. Let's go to the tee at the 17th. Ryan O'Toole. Oh, that's an aggressive line. Wow, that's a good shot. We've seen a lot of players back on the 17th here in the final round. And Ryan O'Toole has this to get to five under par for the day. And nine under par for the championship. What a final. That's tied for the lowest round of the day so far. Is it too late for Jasmine Sawanapura? That takes her to eight under par and a share of third, 17. Yeah, it's been a good start to the year for Sarah Schmalzel. Finished eighth in Singapore. She was the runner up to Bailey Tardy in China a few weeks ago. And hold on a minute. That is very close to an ace. So that's going to be a birdie for Schmalzel. This feels like a must make if Ryan O'Toole is going to win for par at 18. Wow! Ryan O'Toole saves par and may have saved her chances to win. Charlie did drive it in the bunker on this hole, so this is now to save par. She's been doing that this week, leaving the flag in uh, with all these. Nelly Corda. Fairway tilts right to left, trying, taking this down the down green side. There's not much more beautiful than watching Nelly Corda just send a driver. Looking to land this just past front yardage. And that's a seven iron in the air. Pretty good line. Depends how it bounces. Oh, she carried that seven iron a long way. Wow. Chasing after it. And she'll have another attempt for Eagle. Back home in Florida. 15. This is the final group and the second shot for Gabby Ruffles. Oh, yeah, it should come back a little bit towards the hole. Wonderful shot. Any break that is there is very subtle. This is all about tapping into the right speed. Oh, and that, that one got away from her at least four and a half feet by the hole. Two straight bogeys was always going to be a challenge after that. Bounce back with a couple of birdies on the front nine. And of course, missed that really short putt at 12. Without making double there. That's a good save. 
Just a moment ago, Ronin Yin. Incredible to think. On this green yesterday, she tripled on 18. And now struggling to get back up the leaderboard. 15. Yeah, Gabby Ruffles with the birdie. So she's not out of it yet. She's no. three back, got three to play. The next hole is going to be crucial for Gabby. She's a. That's a big one. And Nelly heads to the par 3 17th, up by two. Seen how firm this green is. How's this one gonna land? Oh! oh. I nearly dunked it. Porta's terrific back nine. Jasmine Suwanapura struggling at the 18th. This for par. <laughs> Not struggling anymore. That's a hard earned round of 70. Don't counteract as much each other as much as you would think, but it's it's difficult mentally to commit. Let's see if she can dial it in. It's a great attempt. This has been a very impressive comeback for Gabby after a double bogey at nine. Got the wind howling off the left. Can't feel it quite as much while standing on this tee, but it will catch it once it gets in the air. Oh, it did. On to the front part of the green. Pretty well struck. She is a terrific young player, already a major. Well, she is a fighter and self in contention on the weekend. Good showing by. The USC Trojan, and here's another one. Gabby Ruffles needs a birdie to tie, and who knows? We've seen a little bit of everything this week, so no guarantee of a playoff. If Gabby holds this, she wins. shot she'll remember that 12th hole she went over the green and three putted after pitching it on she'll have the option to play next week in Phoenix as great as she is she's not a member currently of the LPGA tour with all those wins the top 10 finish even for non-members these days i think she needs to lean on her close friend megan kang a bit what a way to end there you go there's a lot of similarities with what meg what allison's doing to what we saw from megan kang constantly knocking on the door Very surprised that she left that one short. Had a share of the lead going to the ninth hole. Made double bogey, but fought on. Let's try and get something to land a couple yards on this green. Pretty good line if it gets up there. Oh, took a big bounce, didn't it? That's a beauty. Uh, spectacular, uh, like Tom said. Hey, but I think on this angle, and the way the wind is blowing mostly cross right now. This should be good. Launch that very high in the air. Oh, is this any good? Two great ones from the rough. Perfect place to putt from, nearly straight up the hill. How did it miss?
Wow. That looked like that was for sure going to fall. Win number 10 for Nelly Corda. And one of the LPGA's A-listers gets it done in L.A.